Well, hello there, people. My name is Gurdakan HD, and today I've got my first episode of my play, or what you would usually call like be a pro, or however. <laughs> and anyway, what you're watching now is just what the settings are. I'm playing on world class at the moment, six minutes each half. And as you can see, the first game comes up against Fulham, and I'm thinking, okay, first game of the Barclays Premier League, and what do I see? My captain leaves, done. Dunn actually leaves to play at Fulham, so I was like, that's it, revenge time. Like, that's why you can see in the title is about Dunn mostly. <laughs> Uh, or it's not this episode isn't about dumb but that's just one of a bit of topics I wanted to talk about what absolute what an absolute knobhead you're the captain right you leave <laughs> and then I join and look at look at here absolute pace abuse them and I score done what can I say really should I stay in yeah and that was it was a bit of a boring game there was lots of shots in that really there's loads and loads of shots but I'll, I'm not going to include them when it's just chances after chances I just want to give you the goals because that's what you can see it isn't it <laughs> of course it is and anyway I want to explain a bit about how a bit more about the club as well um a bungalow was left he uh, yeah a bungalow was left and so is Heskey I was like okay then and I, before I actually talk about that um, I'm against Blackburn here and look at this as Ab Bonghoa actually scores his goal Before the last game, which I'm going to show he leaves straight after that. I'm like, oh great And who do you think he's gone to? Guess let's have a guess. He's gone to wait. Who's he gone to actually? I, I can't remember but heskey has been sold uh, Heskey got sold as well and Darren Bent who is a brilliant striker was injured <laughs> in, in a second game of the friendlies and he's injured for three months. I can't remember exactly what he did. I think it was doing with his hip and he broke his hip or something, so he's out for three months. So I'm gonna have to play with Nathan Delfonso up front and that's gonna be a bit of a what can I say about that? I just I don't I don't like playing with him. It's just I can't I don't gel with him at all. I bombed the whole I played brilliant with him. I think it was who was it? I'm just trying to think. Sorry, Newcastle, that's it. He went to Newcastle. And I was like, what? You went to Newcastle, seriously? And that, is it me or does um a bong hole play such like um, Obertan, they both play so alike and they both look not really similar, they do look a bit similar and as they, as you see they got a penalty and I was like for fuck's sake, seriously I hope it was going to be bad and then look he tries a cheeky little chip and guess what we saved it and I was like get in there, good Willie missed that penalty, I think it was good Willie anyway and as you see here it was the end of the game and then he scored right at the end but it was a good game, 4-0 so I was happy with that result and we're doing very well actually great start to the season so i'm very very happy with that so we can and as you can see here actually before i talk about another topic um i'm in the team of weak side and if you don't know my name <laughs> last name is harper that's why i call him that and by the way my virtual pro doesn't look nothing like me <laughs> I don't, i'm white but i don't have a green afro and i've got black hair so <laughs> there's no comment comment like nothing similar about that and as you can see they've got Richards uh, Richardson sorry from Sunderland so they have a pretty good player and they brought um Lucas L Lever as well and he's absolutely brilliant and when they scored this I was like I just gobsmacked literally I was like oh I was just <laughs> I was just depressed disappointed about that and my team I mostly came here to play with Darren Bent to have a bong hole on the wing but no my manager played him up front when Darren Bent got injured he didn't play in left wing left mid sorry we played a 4-1-2-1-2 formation and he plays Sabian Delph left mid I'm not gonna lie he's fast but he's a centre mid so don't get why you're playing him left mid but anyway I'm not gonna really complain about that because I want to talk about really about this episode and as you can see it was 2-1 at half time towards and I was like I gotta get myself back into this game I just had to do it I had to do it and what else was I gonna say Oh yeah, I want managers. Oh, look at this! Look at this beautiful skill by my player and a wonderful goal. So, what do you think about that? I think that was absolutely brilliant goal. Put in the comments sections below of what you think the best um, goal of the episode was, in your opinion, and the best play goal, or who the best player was in the episode. You can go for me, or you can go for any other person you want, even for an opposition team if you really want to. But <laughs> don't think that's going to really work because you only see that team once. But if you think he absolutely destroyed me and he deserved that place. However, <laughs> just do that. Just throw it then if you want, or whatever you think. And as you can see here, I'm only, f I think my, I put my guy's only five foot seven, and you see that lovely little head of um, that my guy there. And here, <laughs> Warnock absolutely takes him out. And if you don't know, um, to replace Dunn, he's um, the manager has played Carlos Queller, the Spaniard, um, at centre back, and he actually has done pretty well. Even though earlier on before he let in that stupid goal in in that first um, in this game, sorry, and 
when the throwing came along and he just completely didn't miss it. He just missed it at all. And as you can see, I'm joint top with Liverpool, but they have uh, one one more goal than me, got like better goal difference, so that's why they're above me. <coughs> and and I'm just so glad about the revenge on Don. I just wanted, I just really wanted to beat him, but I want my manager to buy a good up front with me that can actually get on well with me instead of Nathan Delfonso because even if he gets injured I have to play Burke I think it's Burke anyway yeah he's a youth player he's only like 66 or something 68 I'm not even sure but he's absolutely terrible Nathan Delfonso is good for the pace but his passing is absolutely terrible I like something that feeds balls into me and that's why I wanted a new centre attacking mid as well to change from Stephen Island to somebody else and guys if you did like this video please give it a like favourite and please subscribe peace out for more videos